Okay, good day, grade 12. So, welcome to our General Physics 2 class. And today, we will be discussing the last part of our lecture about capacitor. We are going to analyze circuit geometry when capacitors are connected in series and parallel. Okay, so the learning competencies to be discussed are the following. Okay, so before we start computing or... Um, Finding equivalent capacitance in a given circuit, let us recall some useful um, equations that uh, we would be using all throughout uh, the solution for each problem. Okay, So we know that in order for us to measure the uh, amount of energy a capacitor could hold in terms of capacitance, we could use the equation C is equals to Q over uh, V, where C is uh, measured in terms of farads and Q is our um, magnitude of the charge and V is the electric potential or the voltage at that specific capacitor. Okay, so rearranging this formula, we could also get um, the equation for um, the charge, okay, which is equals to the capacitance multiplied by the electric potential. So, ito lang po yung magagamit nating equation, basically, sa ating um, solving of individual capacitance and individual amount of uh, charge stored in that um, capacitor okay, or in that component. So we have two different types of circuit geometry or circuit connection. Okay, So we have a series circuit and parallel circuit. Okay, So may mga kailangan lang po tayong tandaan at i-take note when um, components or uh, loads are connected in circuit, series circuit. Okay, When capacitors are connected in series circuit, the current and the charge uh, of each individual capacitor, for example, at capacitor 1, capacitor 2, and capacitor 3, okay, okay, lahat po ng mag-flow na current at amount of charge dito sa individual capacitor natin ay equal sa kung ano ang value ng ating uh, charge at saka ng ating current sa ating supply. So, kapag series naman, when we are talking about the voltage, okay, the individual voltage at this um, for each capacitor would be, okay, the sum of them would be our total velocity. Because when um, we are talking about the voltage, when a component or when components are connected in series circuit, there would be a voltage drop per each load, okay? So, um, since mag-flow po siya from positive okay, to negative. Okay? So, mag makakakuha po ng um, mas madaming voltage is yung capacitor 1. So, yung matitira na lang, yun yung mapupunta kay capacitor 2 and then so on. So, kaya po, kapag pinag-add po natin yung total, okay, total voltages per each um, load or per each capacitor, we would, we would be getting the um, total volts on the supply. Okay? So, um, so, kabalik na naman, on the other hand, uh, when components, specifically capacitors, are connected in parallel circuit, the voltages, okay, from the uh, supply would be equal to the voltages on each capacitor, okay? So, kasi po, connected po siya in parallel. So, pare-pareho yung uh, value ng potential niya, okay, doon sa uh, ating mga loads. Kapag ka naman we are talking about the charges and the um, current, okay, so the total current and the total charge is equals to the individual charges and individual current um, rating or dissipation at each uh, component, okay, where QT or the total charge at the supply is equals to the charge 1, charge 2, charge 3, and so on. Kapag current naman, the, the current at the supply is equals to the summation of all currents per uh, capacitor. Okay? In order for us to get the total capacitance when our capacitor is connected in series, we would be using this equation. Ct is equals to 1 over 1 over C1, 1 over C2, plus 1 over C3, and so on. Okay, or pwede nyo gawin nyo po dyan is um, CT is equals to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 plus 1 over C3 raised to negative 1. Kapag series circuit, pwede rin po natin gamitin kapag dalawa yung components natin or dalawa yung capacitors natin connected in series, pwede po natin gamitin yung uh, product over some, some rule. Okay, where C1 and 2 
is equals to uh, C1 times C2 over C1 plus C2. Okay? So, par when parallel circuit naman, ang pagkuha ng total capacitance kapag ka po ang ating mga components ay connected in parallel is just simply adding the capacitance of um, each uh, capacitor. Okay? Where CT or total capacitance is equals to C1 plus C2 plus C3 plus Cn. Okay? So, now nakapag-review na tayo ng mga um, useful equations that we might be using on this lecture. So, let us start answering this prepared problems okay so let us start with this uh, first problem you're going to find the um equivalent uh, capacitance or the total capacitance in this circuit okay so ang una po natin gagawin dito our step one always okay is to um locate kung alin po yung ating components na connected in parallel okay kasi pinakamadali pong isolve yung mga uh, capacitors connected in parallel. So, in this case, okay, C1 at C2 ay in parallel. Okay? So, C1, C2, yan, C1, C1, 2, yung total nitong dalawa is just C1 plus C2. Okay? So, 20 microfarad plus 30 microfarad, okay? Ang C1, 2, is equals to 50 microfarad. Okay? So, once na, na uh, simplify na natin to, itong part na to, pwede na natin i-redraw. So, yun yung second step natin. I-redraw natin yung ating circuit para mas madali natin makita kung ano pa yung mga available na pwede natin i- um, pwede natin kunin yung total capacitance. Okay? So, ito yung C1- Two, tapos ito si C3 since dadalawa na lang naman sila and they are connected in series. Okay? So, makukuha na natin yung CT which is equals to C1, 2, 3. Since dalawa po sila, pwede po natin gamitin yung product over some rule. Okay? So, kung gagamitin po natin yan, C1, 2 multiply by C3 over C1, 2 plus C3. Okay? So, C1 po na, C12 is 50 microfarad. Ang C3 natin is also 50 microfarad. So, 50 microfarad multiply by 50 microfarad all over 50 microfarad plus 50 microfarad. Okay? Our CT would be equal to 25 microfarad. Okay? So next, let's move on with the second problem. Yan. Okay. So um, find the total or equivalent capacitance in this circuit. Okay. So again, unahin po muna natin yung connected in parallel. Pinakamadali po yun. Unahin po natin yung nakaparallel. Okay. Si C2 parallel kay C3. Okay. So C2, 3. Yan. Okay, so equal po siya sa C2 plus C3. Ang C2 natin, ang value ay 5 microfarad. Ang C3 natin, ang value ay 15 microfarad. So C2, 3 is equals to 20 microfarad. Okay, so next, redraw natin yung ating circuit diagram. So meron tayong tatlong loads. Okay. So, this is C1, okay, which is equals to 10 microfarad. So, ito yung na-compute na natin, na-simplify na natin. Si C23, okay, equivalent sa, sa 20 microfarad. Tapos, ito naman si C4, equivalent sa 20 microfarads. Okay? So, since connected na po siya into series, yan, kita natin yung mga paa niya connected, okay, sa isa't isa. So, pe, uh, para makuha natin yung CT, Equal po siya sa C1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? Equal po siya sa equation na 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2, 3. Okay? Plus 1 over C4 raised to negative 1. Okay? So, 1 over uh, 10 microfarad plus 1 over 20 microfarad plus 1 over 20 
microfarad raised to negative 1. So, CT is equals to 5 microfarads. Yan. Okay? So, next, dito na tayo sa ating third and last problem. So, yan. Meron tayong medyo mahirap-hirap. Okay? Mahirap-hirap na problem. So, Again, unahin po muna natin yung connected sa parallel. Kasi mas madali po yun. Yan. So, si 1 at saka si 2. So, yun yung uh, first and second step natin. Okay. So, C2 at saka C3. This equals to C2 plus C3. So, equal po siya sa 8 microfarad plus 20 microfarad. So, C23 is equals to 28 microfarad. And then, next po, second step natin, ayan, ito, dalawa, uh, mayroon tayong tatlong nakaparallel. So, C4, 5, and 6. So, equal po siya sa C4 plus C5 plus C6. Okay? So, 3 microfarad plus 2 microfarad plus 5 microfarad. Okay? So, supposedly, di ba mga kapatid, ang microfarad ay times 10 raised to negative 6. So, hindi ko na siya isusulat kasi ay lahat naman po sila ay naka uh, microfarad na. Wala nang ka ka kaiba. So, pagka ganun lang, saka nyo po siya i-convert into standard notation or scientific notation. Okay? So, i-add po natin sila. 2 plus 3, 5 plus 5 is 10 microfarad. Okay? So, again, redraw natin para mas madali natin makita. Okay? So, this is C1, which is equals to 20 microfarad. Tapos, yung sinimplify natin, ito ay si C23. Okay? Equivalent sa 28 microfarad. Tapos, okay, since na-simplify na natin to isa, isa na lang siya. Okay? So, ito si C456, which is equals to 10. Okay, microfarad. And then, yung last na na nasa baba, C, um, C7, which is equals to 20 microfarad. Okay, so, lagay natin dito, ito ay C456 equals sa 10. Itong dalawa ay C23 equals sa 20. Okay, parin nyo natin malimutan. Yan. So, since nakikita natin, pwede na natin isang computation na lang dito kasi lahat naman sila, yung ating apat na loads, okay, is naka um, series, connection. So, pwede na natin siyang i-substitute dun sa ating equation in finding the total capacitance when um, loads are connected in series. Okay? CT is equal to C1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, equal po siya sa C1, 1 over C1, plus 1 over C2, 3, plus 1 over C4, 5, 6, plus 1 over C7. Raise to negative 1. Okay? Equal po sa 1 over 20 microfarad plus 1 over 28 microfarad plus 1 over 10 microfarad plus 1 over 20 microfarad. Raise to negative 1. Huwag kong kakalimutan. CT is equals to 4.24 microfarads. Okay? So, yan. So, nakuha na po natin yung C or total capacitance which is equals to 4.24 microfarads. What if um, we are given a voltage uh, supply rating which is equals to um, positive negative? So, kung ang volts natin dun sa supply, equal po siya sa um, 25 volts. Okay? So, paano natin kukunin yung individual uh, voltage at saka individual charges na nakastore dito sa ating pitong capacitors? Okay? So, may... Uh, way po para dyan. So, tatandaan po natin, kapag ka po ang ating um, components ay connected sa series, equal po ang charges, kailangan pong i-add ang voltage. 
kapag ka naman um, ang components natin ay connected into parallel, so equal ang voltage, kailangan kunin yung charges. Okay? So, dito kunin muna natin yung total charge dun sa supply. Okay? So, QT is equal to um, VTCT. Okay? VTCT. So, ang VT natin is 25 volts. Tapos, ang total kapasitan sa na-compute natin kanina is 4.24 microfarad. Or 4.24 times 10 raised to negative 6 farad. Okay? So, yan. So, makukuha po natin QT is equals to 1.06 okay, times 10 raised to negative 4 coulombs. Okay, 1.06 times 10 raised to negative 4 coulombs. Okay, so now na nakuha na natin yung QT, okay, so pwede na natin um, i-analyze yung ating circuit. Kung ano po ba yung individual voltages at saka individual charge, charges sa ating kapasitor. Since dito, dito sa ating simplified okay, version ng itong circuit na to, makikita natin lahat sila naka-series. So meaning, si C1... Yung Q1, yung Q23, yung uh, Q456, at saka yung Q7, equal po siya sa QT. Okay? So, hindi na natin isosolve yon Okay? So, ang isosolve natin dito sa mga to is yung voltage dissipation muna. Okay? So, solve natin yung uh, at C1. Okay? Isa-isahin natin sila. C1 is equals to 20, okay, microfarad. So, alam natin na yung Q1 is equals to QT, so equal po siya sa 1.06 times 10 raised to negative 4. Okay, so i-compute po natin yung voltage uh, at 1, okay, so yung potential ng kapasitor 1, so equal po siya sa Q1 over C1. So, ang Q1 natin, 1.06 times 10 raised to negative 4 coulombs divided by 20 times 10 raised to negative 6 farad. So, voltage at 1 is equals to 5.3 volts. Okay? Susunod na natin yung at C23. Okay? So, at C23, again, Yung QT daw natin equals sa Q23, so equals sa 1.06 times 10 raised to negative 4 coulombs. So ang V23 natin yan, is equals to Q23 over um, C23. So equal po siya sa 1.06 times 10 raised to negative 4 coulombs divided by, so ang value nito ay 28 microfarad. Okay, 28 times 10 raised to negative 6 farads. So, V23 is equals to 3.79 volts. Okay, itong V23, simplified po yan ng kapasitor 2 at saka kapasitor 3. So, ang hinahanap po natin ay individual charges at saka voltage. So, um, kailangan muna nating hanapin kung ano yung connection nila. So, Based dito sa diagram, ang connection nila ay parallel. So, si C2, which is equals to 8 microfarad, since parallel sila, equal po ang voltage nila. So, ang V23, okay, yung voltage ng V23, equal po sa voltage ng 2, which is equals to 3.79 volts. Okay? So, since nakaparallel sila, so hindi equal yung charges nila, so i-compute po natin yung charge at Q2, which is equals to V2C2. Okay? Ang V2 natin is 3.79. Ang C2 natin ay 8 times 10 raised to negative 6 farads. So, equal po siya sa... Lagay na natin sa baba. 3.029 okay? times 10 raised to negative 5 coulombs. Then, next po natin yung kay C3, which is equals po sa um, 20 microfarad. So, again, nakaparallel. So, ang value ng V23 equal din sa value ng voltage at 3. So, equal siya sa 3.79 
watts. Okay? Si Q2, uh, Q3 rather, kukompute natin using V3, C3. Okay? 3.79 times 20 microfarad is equals to 7.57. Okay? 7.57 times 10 raised to negative 5. Okay? Kulong. So, kung i-check po natin yan, okay, since connected po sa parallel, okay, ito, so yung Q23 equal po yan sa Q2 plus Q3. So, kung i-add po natin itong 3.029 at saka uh, 7.57, dapat mag-equal po siya sa 1.06, which is um, equal naman po sa 1.06 times 10 raised to negative 4. Okay? So, next po, dito na tayo kay B... Um, Okay, C456. So again, si C456 ay simplified po, okay, ng tatlong capacitors na connected po sa parallel. Meaning, okay, kung ano yung masasolve po natin voltage, okay, so equal po siya sa voltage ng V4, V5, at V6, okay, tapos i-compute po natin yung individual charges. Okay? So, complete muna natin yung voltage at C456 which is equals to 10 microfarad. So, compute natin. Alam natin na ang Q456 is equals to QT. So, equals po siya sa 1.06 times 10 raised to negative 4 coulomb. So, voltage na lang hinahanap natin. So, equal siya sa um, Q456 over C456. Ayan. Okay? So, 1.06 times 10 raised to negative 4 coulombs divided by uh, 10 times 10 raised to negative 6 parads. So, ang V456 ay equal sa 310. Okay? 10.6 volts. Okay? So, individual na yung kunin natin. So, at Capacitor 4, which is equals to um, 3 microfarad. Okay? Since yung tatlo ay parallel, so V4 ay equal din po sa 10.6 volts. So Q4 yung hinahanap natin equals sa V4 over, uh, V4C4 rather. V4C4. Okay? So 10.6 volts multiplied by 3 times 10 raised to negative 6. Q4 is equals to... 3.18 times 10 raised to negative 5. Okay? So, next po kay C5 at C5 which is equals to 2 microfarad. Okay? V5, again, equal 10.6 volts. Okay? Q5 is equals to V5 C5. Okay? So, 10.6 times uh, 2 times 10 raised to negative 6, Q5 is equals to 2.12 times 10 raised to negative 5 coulombs. Okay? And then lastly, yung sa C6. Okay? At C6, which is equals to 5 microfarad. Okay? V6, since parallel na po ulit, equal po siya sa 10.6 volts. Okay? Q6, Plus to V6, C6, okay? 10.6 multiply by um, 5 times 10 raised to negative 6. Okay, Q6 is equals to 5.3. Okay, 5.3 times 10 raised to negative 5. Oh, no. So, kung gusto natin i-check yung ating um, uh, value ng charges, okay? So, since... Um, Q4 equal po yan sa Q, uh, Q456 equal po yan sa Q4 plus Q5 plus Q6. Okay? So, um, kung gusto niyo pong i-check, okay? So, i-add nyo lang po yung nakuha nating values. So, Q4 which is equal to 3.18 times 10 raised to negative 5 plus Q5 which is equal to 2.12 times 10 raised to negative 5 plus 5, uh, Q6, which is equal to 5.3 times 10 raised to negative 5. So, kung i-type po natin sa calculator yan, 
the value we would be getting is equals to approximately 1.06 times 10 raised to negative 4. Okay, so tama yung ating ginawa. So dito na tayo sa ating last and pang seventh capacitor. Okay, so capacitor 7 or C7 is equals to 20 microfarad. So at C7, which is equals to 20 microfarad. Okay. So since series po siya dito sa ating simplified circuit, so yung QT equals din po sa Q7, which is 1.06 times 10 raised to negative 4 coulomb. So ang kukompute lang po natin dyan, voltage at 7, which is equals to Q7 over C7. Okay. So... 1.06 times 10 raised to negative 4 coulombs divided by 20 times 10 raised to yan, negative 6. So V7 is equals to 5.3 volts. Okay, so balikan natin yung ating mga calculations. So ang V1 natin is equals to uh, 5.3 uh, 5. 3 volts. Tapos, ang na-compute po nating V23, okay, is equals to um, 3.79 volts. Tapos, ang na-compute nating V456, this part, this part, okay, V456 is equals to 10.6 volts. Tapos, ang V7 natin equal sa 5.3 Volts. So kung i-check po natin kung tama yung ginawa natin, since lahat po ito, itong mga components natin ay connected in series. So Vt is equals to V1 plus V23 plus V456 plus V7. It should be equals to 25 volts. So kung i-add po natin yan, so approximately ang magiging sagot mo po ay 24.99 Volts, which is also almost equal to 25 volts. So med medyo hindi lang talaga siya nagsakto kasi we round off um, our values on the equations. Okay, so that would be all for this uh, lecture. So um, kindly go to your Google Classroom and check for the um, uh, worksheet for this lecture. Okay, so that would be all for this day. So goodbye and thank you. See you again to our next meeting.